is up in Blue Alpha Army. So, I know in my last video I was kind of worried about what am I going to make videos about. You know, it's that weird time of the year where ice fishing is over with. I mean, it has been warm today. It was like 50 degrees yesterday. It was mid 40s. It rained all day. And the day before that was in the 50s, uh, almost 60s. So, what am I going to do? That's nasty out. There's not really any hunting seasons open. Fishing stops. You can't ice fish. There's still ice, but it's just not safe. Well, about a week ago, people started fishing open water in the Menominee River for walleye. So tonight, we're going to love. It is 37 degrees. We're headed to the Hattie Street Bridge uh, between Marinette, Wisconsin, and Menominee, Michigan for some walleye. So this is not uh, difficult. Uh, this is pretty simple. Basically, you need a rod. Uh, fairly heavy uh, line. Uh, we're going to be using some braid. I believe it is 20 pound braid. And some deep diving jerk baits. Husky jerks. Uh, some different raffles work. Uh, I'm going to try a try a mag lip. Uh, those get down pretty deep. So basically what you want to do is you get a bait, bolts, and then the current that is under the bridge actually takes the bait or your, your lure down to the strike area of the walleye. Now this isn't the walleye run. Uh, they're not in uh, getting ready to spawn yet. These are just Probably resident walleye stay in the river all year, and there just happens to be some open water, and people have been fishing there for about a week. Um, I've heard some good things. It's not, you know, it's not crazy like it is during the walleye run, but people are catching fish. So hopefully, we're one of those people tonight. Uh, we're gonna go. I think we're gonna pick up Jamie. I know uh, you should remember him from the Hayward Lake video, and then I'm also meeting Hunter down there. If he's still down there, he's been there for a half hour. He could already have his fish and be gone. Uh, and you should remember Hunter from the uh, mine pond videos. So, another thing about this part of the year, walleye you can only keep one. So, I looked up the other day, I believe the season ended on the 6th, and I think before the 6th, you should still be able to keep, keep your 5 per day. Right now, because of the boundary water between Michigan and Wisconsin, Tributary of Green Bay, you can still keep one even though it's even cold. So that's what we're going to do. We're heading down. We've got the uh, uh, Ugly 6 GX2 and we'll see what happens. Stick with us. Uh, we're on our way to go pick Jamie up. Alright, so we are down here at the Hydro Dam on the Menominee side of the Menominee River near the Hattie Street Bridge. And this is where we're going to throw first the mag lip. Um, we'll see how this goes. Take some other baits with me um, and we'll adjust as needed. We're using the uh, Ugly Stick GX2. It is 9 feet medium action with some 20 pound spider wire braid. What else are we gonna bring? Not the storm. Not a storm. Not today. Storm also. We'll take this wrap here. That in the in the pack.
I know a lot of guys probably aren't using these down here, but it's a good color, so we're going to give it a try. That guy. Alright, close this up, head down, get some fishing in. Alright. We're rolling too. We're rolling now. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. All right. Hunter, say hi to the fans. How's it going? All right, so we've been here about an hour and a half now, and we got nothing. We're watching people catch fish, but no luck ourselves. Make a move. The hazards of fishing off of the catwalk. Ain't no good. Wow, that was a big piece. Still coming. Huh. Okay. Wild. Alright, so we're headed home. Uh not my night. Didn't get one. Fish for I don't know, almost two hours. And nothing. Saw some fish get caught, probably a dozen. Uh but not for me. So I guess we'll give her a try a different night, see what happens. Thin Blue Alpha Army. Well, it has been like two weeks since I made or released a video. Um, things have just kind of been crazy. I haven't had a lot of time to do anything uh, other than work. So I got a little bit of free time. It is already 6 p.m., but we're going to go fishing down on the Menominee River. The walleye run is starting, so I packed the waders, I got a rod, we're going to go give it a try. Uh, we're going to cross down uh, to the river behind uh, a buddy of mine's house. Uh, he works for Central Dispatch, and we'll give it a go. It uh, should be pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be cold. It's going to be really cold. It's like 35 degrees outside right now. So hopefully we won't have to be down there too long. It's going to get dark here in the next hour. So... Fish are going to start biting. Hopefully, there's not a ton of people down there, but we'll see how it goes. So, sorry about uh, the time frame between videos. I just, I just haven't had any time. Uh, and then, I'll, obviously, I had those three videos that uh, were no good that I uh, filmed and found that there was no audio on them. So, stick with me, and we'll get down to the river here shortly. All right, so we are on our way down. <sighs> Looks cold. Looks cold. Hey, lock yet? Uh, okay. Oh, he's surging. 
Oh. So the water's nice and warm, eh? Yeah. Woo! Over there? Oh, yeah, we need a shit over there on that side. Alright. See, no reason a three hook storm. It's uh, like a pink fire tiger. It was a sucker, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah.
that, that, that's always the question. Is it about 18? Yeah. That's, that's a decent one. I'll do. Cold as hell. Hey, guys, yeah, just getting ready to leave. Son of a bitch, is it cold out here? That water is. Not warm. Oh, no, no wonder you took a nap. It probably took everything out of you. Holy oh, shit. Alright, good afternoon. So, this is the next day. Obviously, I didn't get a fish yesterday. I fished for, I don't know, maybe two hours. The guy that was fishing down there when I got there, he ended up getting one about probably 18 to 20 inches. It's a decent fish. It's a good eating sized fish. So we're going to go back, give it a shot before work today. So that, uh, yeah, that kind of sucked. It got cold last night. It was I think, like 27 degrees when I left. My fingers and my feet were absolutely frozen. It took me a while to warm up. Today it is 50. So that's good, I won't get it cold. I'll probably still wear the same clothes though, just so I can stay down for a little bit. But yeah, no fish. So that was my second attempt uh, at a walleye this year with zero fish. So uh, maybe next week I'll be able to get out of the boat. I ordered a bunch of parts, just normal like yearly maintenance stuff. I needed a new prop, in my prop in the river last year. Um, spark plugs and then I'm going to replace the fuel line <coughs> and the primer bulb. Uh, other than that, not much. We got uh, some somewhat, I guess, decent weather. It's not raining today. That's a good thing. The sun's out. But we're going to hopefully like I say, get out on the boat next, next week sometime. Turkey season's right around the corner. Uh, Three weeks. We've got three weeks until opening day of turkey season in Michigan. So <clears throat> I'm excited for that. I think I got a, a decent spot to hunt. And if not, um, the guy that works for the state police said that he would hook me up with uh, a decent spot to hunt. He's big in it. And uh, that should, that'll be a good time. So. Hopefully we'll get some videos put out. I still gotta make the uh, second linen ladder, but I just, like I said, I haven't had time. We haven't had the weather. Um, it's been working, and then on my days off, it just seems to be raining constantly. So I um, just really have not had any good chance to, to get that finished. I went out the other day and <coughs> cut a bunch of cedar poles. Um, so I can start my house projects for the year. We're going to be putting an addition on the back of our garage, uh, like a lean-to, and 
big projects, lots of stuff coming. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some of it on camera and out on YouTube. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'll do my best, and we'll go from there. So stick with me. Headed down to the river. This is my third chance at third try at getting a walleye this year. Okay, so here we are, out on the river again. A couple of people down here. Fishing with a uh, neon fire tiger. Uh, husky jerk. Son of a bitch. That's a surgeon, I think. Um, no, I'll bring it up to land. If it's a wall, it's a good one. Oh, it took. It's a sucker. Freaking soccer. What? No, I'm going to keep that one.
it is, there it is. Oh god. There he is. Whew. That's neater. This one eater sized male boy. Put some work in. So you get one a day and that's my one. Could try for something bigger but you know what? Just get one that keeps. We'll eat it. We'll try for a bigger one a different day. He's out. Okay, that's it. We'll clean this thing up. All right, got ourselves a little walleye. So let's give a get a little clean action here. Just gonna come down right next to this. We're gonna cut down. This knife I'm using is the Gerber. Um, it's a nine nine inch uh, Gerber. Uh, I just bought it. So far, it seems super sharp. So what we'll do first is we're gonna take the call these the wings. Take the wings off of it. Supposedly that has a good piece of meat. Eat it right off those fins. All right, and then we got it all done up here. <clears throat> so then what we're gonna do? Just come up behind this fin. I'm sure you can see here. See how it's got? There's quite a bit of meat comes right to this plate. So we'll just cut down to this plate, and then just get a good grab, and you're just gonna cut right along get a good grip on them and just cut right along this backbone right and then that comes off that's a good looking fillet and then we we'll just come back do the same thing on this side this time we're just going to trim this up just a little bit above this fin here so we'll just stick it in, cut it above there because we don't want to cut that fin off, that's just junk. We'll just follow that bone, come in, and go right down the tail. Right. And same thing here, right behind this fin, up this plate, turn your knife sideways, make sure you got this belly on top of here and then just cut nice fillet so then got these cheeks you're just going to cut these cheeks out just like this push down I mean they, they're not big cheeks on this one but up. That one might not even be worth doing. We'll keep them anyways though, hey? Okay? They just peel right off the skin. Cheeks. Go with the wings.
and then you just flip it over, give it a little cut, pulls right off. Just like that. Boop. There you go. Now for these, you gotta take these ribs out, right? See so this? Gonna go down. Take the ribs out of them. Sorry, I couldn't see most of that. So you cut down these ribs, and then just cut right along them. Alright, so what that'll do is clean this up nice and boneless. Just gonna have to take just a little bit of this pin bone out. Make sure you're staying with those ribs the whole way. You don't want to waste any meat. Ribs come out. Now you got that pin bone. Runs about to here comes up so then we just take this cut this right up like this you can see the bones and then just take this little V out boom now when we take that off the bone or off the skin uh, she'll come right out let's see if we can do that on this tailgate it'll be tough what do we got here let's see what we got we got a piece of board here finger on it, get underneath it, and then it just, man this knife is sharp, good flex to it, I can stay right along that skin, Gerber makes a pretty good blade, there we go, boom, boneless, got ourselves a little bag here, put everything that we're going to keep in, In there. Do this next one. Take the rib bone out, rib bones. Missed one. I think I missed one. Yeah, missed one. There we go. ribs out of it just like that flip it over make sure we get this pin bone out goes the about here Slide this knife right along that skin. Man, that's a nice knife. That thing is sharp. So we're gonna take that to Florida for sure. And then this little piece comes right out. Boneless, skinless walleye. There we are. Not your waist. All right, perfect. Clean this up quick, and then time for work. Mm -hmm.